anyway, so we haven't really got a V8 under the bonnet, sadly. Sure did, on almost an empty tank of petrol. That was worrying. At Crawford Notch, we stopped for yet another photo shoot. But I'm wondering why so many place names around here have the word notch in them. I googled, and of course it means the valley or the gap or wedge between mountains. Bethlehem, Leo, look, we're in Bethlehem. <clears throat> Bethlehem. Bethlehem is apparently the highest elevated town east of the Rockies. As we passed through Littleton, I hadn't realised that it has a covered bridge over a river and an old mill and many other scenic attractions. But sadly, we have to press on get the stove before nightfall. My pancakes were awesome, and not just in size, yum. So we leave Stowe and head for our next overnight stay in Williamstown, Massachusetts. We're gonna be taking the Vermont 100 scenic route for most of the way. It's a beautiful day and the light this morning is just awesome. At Waitsfield, we stopped to photograph its covered bridge which spans the Mad River. Yeah, love that name. <laughs> I wonder how we got it. I just love these bridges. And Vermont still has plenty of them too. Apparently, nearly 100. Vermont and uh, yeah and I'm going to show you a Vermont moo cow Mountain coffee, recommended. We're having it black, brilliant. We're now in the uh, small village of Hancock 
on the VT100, the Vermont 100 road, which is the scenic road. Although we have gone off road and we went under another covered bridge. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I love the covered bridges out here. It's one of the things I was most looking forward to seeing. So we're now carrying on the VT100 all the way down to Williamstown, Massachusetts, where we'll be staying overnight at the... Richards, I think. <coughs> yeah, just around here. Fantastic scenery. The fall colour is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I'll drink to that. Absolutely stunning. Best autumn colours I've ever seen. Well, you expect to see it in New England in the fall. And they say it's been a really great year this year for it. And boy, we're making the best of it. And the weather's been fantastic and looks to be good now for the rest of our holiday. Yeah, so over and out, we're going to be heading off in just a mo after the Green Mountain coffee. <laughs> beautiful setting. The small village of Plymouth is where the 30th president of the US was born and laid to rest. So we buy some cheese and crackers for a quick lunch. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, my dad drives a rusty car. We arrive around 5 p.m. at our hotel in Williamstown. It's about a mile from the centre of town and eateries, so we take a walk shooting pictures along the way. And of course, at this time of year, loads of Halloween displays. Beautiful. It's very apparent that this is a university town with its magnificent architecture. Yep, 
That pizza was massive. On the way back I shoot some night scenes, completely handheld, with Fuji's new 16-80 highly stabilised lens. Fantastic. 